Hello, this is Enrique from DN Simple. Today, I will walk you through our DN Simple Python API client and how you can use it to automate your domain management by showing you how to register a domain programmatically. I will do this in our sandbox environment where you can play with our API at no cost. The sandbox environment behaves with a few exceptions exactly as our production environment. Let's encrypt certificates cannot be issued, nor will the domains you register be registered for real. You don't need to worry about spending any money on domain registrations while using our sandbox environment, as this is all pretend. If at any time during this video you want to check us out by yourself, click on the link in the description or go to dnsimple.com. Okay, let's get started. First, we're going to head to our sandbox environment at sandbox.dnsimple.com. Once you log into the sandbox environment, you will see your dashboard with all the domains you might have registered already. On the top right, you will see an account link. Clicking on it, you will be on your account page. At the bottom on the left menu, you will see the automation link. Once we follow this link, we will see our API tokens if we have any webhooks, applications, and developer applications. For today, we're only going to look into API tokens. So let's do that and create a new API token for our sample code. We click on new and we're shown a form where we can name our token. This will help you in the future to know which tokens you're using where. Use names that you can associate easily to the applications you're working on. Let's call our token Python tutorial and generate it. Now we can see the token and we are prompted to save it somewhere as it will not be displayed afterwards again. I'm not going to close the browser or move away as we will need our token in a moment. I could just quickly save it in a note taking app, but I'm not going to do that. Now that we have everything we need, let's start working on our Python tutorial. I'm using PyCharm from JetBrains, but you can use any editor you prefer. I have a simple file called DN Simple Tutorial, and I will just add a simple console output so we can see that it's actually working. Okay, good. We'll use the same file with a Hello DN Simple console output and just change it as we go along. After each run, I might comment out some code so that we don't run the same operation over and over. The first thing we want to do is to create an instance of our DN Simple client, which is the entry point to the API. We will set the sandbox variable to true and add our credentials. That is the token we generated on the web interface earlier. Let's go back to our browser and copy the token and now paste it. With this, we should have all we need to interact with the sandbox environment. The first thing we're going to do is to get our account ID and store it in a variable. For this, we will be using the identity service calling who am I. Depending on which credentials you use, you will either have an account or a user object attached to the result of the operation. As we're using an account token, we will get the account ID from the account and we're going to write it to the console for the moment so that we can see what's going on. Now that we have our account ID, we can go and check for a domain so that we can register it. Let's check one that should not be available, although we never know as we are in our sandbox environment. Anyways, let's see if google.com is available. Okay, good, it's not available. <laughs> now let's see if we can find a domain that is available so we can register it. Pythontesting.com should be fine. Let's see. Okay, great, it's available. Before we continue and register the domain, we need to create a contact that is associated to that domain. When it comes to contacts, it's really important that your contact information is up to date just in case you get contacted by ICANN, the organization that oversees domain names for most top level domains. I recommend not using the email address of the domain you're registering right now, but use an email address that has been working for you up until now. Okay, let's create our contact. We're going to call the contact service create contact method, passing in our account ID and a newly created contact. We create the new contact with my name, my last name, not my address, nor my city, in the province of, postal code, my country of residence, my email, and finally, phone number. Let's print it out so we can see the result of the operation as well. Now, with our contact created, we can register our domain. Let's just do that. We're going to call the registrar endpoints register domain method and add the account ID, the domain name and registrant ID. That is our newly created contact ID. Okay, our domain is now created, so we can go ahead and for the time being, just list the domains we have. I have a few domains registered already, so let's see if we can find ours. 
There it is. Nice. Let's now add a zone record to our domain. As a simple example, I'm going to add a CNAME record to point our domain to the DNSimple blog. We're going to use the zones endpoints passing the account ID, the domain name, and the zone record attributes. The name blog, the type CNAME, and the content blog DNSimple. Com. Remember when I said earlier the sum functionality in the sandbox is limited? This is one such case. Though we've added a CNAME record pointing to blog.dnsample.com, this will actually not work. Please. Now that the zone record is created, let's list the zone records for this domain. For this, we're going to call the zones endpoint again, but this time the list zones method. And there we are. Today, I've given you a little glimpse of what you can do with our Python API client. Registering a domain, creating contacts, adding zone records, but also how to start using our sandbox environment to get you started with your domain automation. Please do check out developer documentation to see all the endpoints and actions you can perform to start automating your domains using the Ensemble. We also have comprehensive support articles that will help you dig deeper in what you can do with our services. I also want to point you to a DN Simple Python cheat sheet where you can find the sample code of what we've done today and some more. Please do reach out if you need some help or if you're planning on using our services at support at dnsimple.com. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.